You may have heard about this unique aircraft's terrible safety record before, the V-22 Osprey. But what if I told you this insanely expensive aircraft is actually the safest rotorcraft the United States Marines operate? Its Class A mishaps per 100,000 flight hours is the lowest in the Marines. While this still may not convince you the Osprey is safe, we're going to compare this statistic to other Marine aircraft in service. But first, we need to take a look at the V-22's critical development, the capabilities that make it so special, and finally, its controversial service and why it's misunderstood. So let's get started. To understand how the Osprey came to be, we must go all the way back to the late 1970s when the United States Department of Defense began to express interest in the development of a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that could also fly like a fixed-wing aircraft. The purpose was to address the operational limitations of helicopters, such as their relatively slow speed and low range. In 1981, under the Joint Service Vertical Takeoff and Landing Experimental Aircraft Program, or JVX, the Bell Helicopter Helicopter and Boeing Helicopters team was awarded an initial contract to develop a tilt rotor aircraft, beating out a proposal from a team led by Sikorsky. The program was jointly funded by the U.S. Air Force, Navy, Army, and the Marine Corps. The JVX was then designated as the V-22 Osprey by the U.S. military in 1983. The design phase started with an emphasis on reliability, maintainability, and survivability. The V-22 incorporated cutting-edge technology for the era such as composite materials, fly-by-wire control systems, and advanced aerodynamics. It would then take five years until the first V-22 was rolled out in May 1988, but the flight testing phase that began later that year faced numerous technical problems. These included issues with the complex tilting rotor systems, composite materials, and the computer systems that coordinated the aircraft's functions. Difficulties with the Osprey's development led to significant cost overruns and several accidents during the testing in the 1990s, leading to the loss of several prototypes and a number of fatalities. Despite these setbacks, proponents of the V-22 within the U.S. military and Congress continued to support the program, highlighting its potential to revolutionize military transport by offering much higher speeds and far greater range than conventional helicopters. By 1997, the V-22 program had a cost of $12 billion and was several years behind schedule. To make things worse, in the year 2000, after a controversial crash that resulted in 19 deaths, the V-22 was grounded while problems with the hydraulic system and flight control software were addressed. The program was nearly cancelled, but the Marine Corps argued that the Osprey was vital for its future operations and the Pentagon agreed. After extensive redesigns and rigorous safety tests, the MV-22, the Marine Corps version of the Osprey, was declared operational in 2007, and the aircraft saw its first combat deployment in Iraq later that year. Now that you understand the troublesome development of the V-22 Osprey, let's take a look into the unprecedented capabilities this unique aircraft has brought to the U.S. military particularly the Marine Corps, which has used it as a replacement for its CH-46 Sea Knight helicopters. First off, the Osprey is capable of vertical takeoff and landing and short takeoff and landing. One of the key features of the Osprey is its tilt rotor design which enables the aircraft to take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but also transition to horizontal flight like a fixed-wing aircraft. This gives the V-22 the versatility of a helicopter in terms of where it can operate, combined with the speed and range of a fixed-wing airplane. Because of this feature, the Osprey is significantly faster and has a greater range than traditional rotary-wing aircraft. It can cruise at speeds of around around 275 knots, which is more than twice as fast as most military helicopters. It also has a range of about 1,000 nautical miles 
greatly surpassing the capabilities of typical helicopters. Not only does it have an impressive range to begin with, the V-22 can be refueled in flight, which further extends its range. With this speed and range, the V-22 can carry a substantial payload as well. Its cabin can accommodate 24 combat troops seated or up to 32 troops standing. In the cargo configuration, the V-22 can carry up to 20,000 pounds externally using its dual hook system or 9,000 pounds internally. The V-22 also has a host of features that increase its survivability. It's equipped with an integrated electronic warfare warfare system and can deploy countermeasures against incoming threats. Its speed, altitude, and quiet operation also contribute to its survivability in hostile environments. Because of all these features, the Osprey is capable of performing various missions, including troop transport, search and rescue, cargo resupply, and more. It can operate from a variety of platforms, including aircraft carriers, amphibious assault ships, and forward operating bases, which makes it one of, if not the most versatile aircraft in service. However, it is also important to note that the V-22 has faced criticisms for its operational costs and its unit cost, which is over $80 million. That is about the same cost as the F-35, which is the newest and most advanced aircraft in service. Not only is it expensive, it's mechanically complex and requires more maintenance compared to conventional rotary wing aircraft. The Osprey's service record has been marked by notable successes, but also significant contracts controversies and criticisms, primarily related to the aircraft's safety record. The aircraft had a rocky start, with several high-profile accidents occurring during its development and early operational stages, earning it a reputation for being dangerous. However, over time, safety improvements and changes in operation procedures have led to a significantly improved safety record. Its Class A mishaps are also the lowest per 100,000 flight hours in the Marine Corps. You might be wondering what a Class A mishap is. Class A mishaps involve repair costs for the aircraft or government property exceeding $2 million or the death or permanent disability of a service member. The Marines F-18s have over double the Class A mishaps per 100,000 flight hours at 8.3 compared to the Osprey's 3.9. The CH-46 has a rate of 6.91, which is the most important statistic because it's the helicopter the Osprey was introduced to replace. Now let's take a look at the mishaps that the V-22 has been involved in. In 1989, a crash near the Delaware River killed three Bell employees. The accident was blamed on a failure of the drive shaft for one of the two rotors, which led to an imbalance and subsequent crash. In 1991, the aircraft suffered its second fatal crash during testing. The V-22 was hovering 15 feet above the ground when a fire broke out in one engine, leading to a loss of control and subsequent crash. A third fatal crash occurred during testing in 1993, leading to a pause in the Osprey program and a redesign of the aircraft's hydraulic system and flight software. The most critical phase of the Osprey's service happened in 2000, when two high-profile crashes led to a re-evaluation of the Osprey program. The first was in Arizona during a training mission, killing all 19 Marines on board. The second occurred in North Carolina and resulted in four deaths. The two crashes led to an in-depth review of the program and a temporary grounding of the V-22 fleet. After these incidents, the aircraft underwent significant improvements to fix their issues related to hydraulics, software, and training. These changes helped to improve the safety record of the Osprey significantly. Since then, the Osprey has seen active service in several theaters. The MV-22 saw its first combat deployment in Iraq in 2007, where it was used primarily for troop transport and medevac missions. Despite initial criticisms, it was praised for its performance and had no Class A mishaps during this deployment. The Osprey was deployed to Afghanistan in 2009, where it served in a similar capacity. Again, it performed well under challenging conditions and improved its safety record and reliability. 
Since then, the V-22 has been used in a variety of roles, including humanitarian assistance and disaster response, such as during the Haiti earthquake in 2010, the relief efforts after Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines in 2013, and the Nepal earthquake in 2015. In short, the V-22 Osprey represents one of the longest and most difficult defense acquisition processes in US history. However, However, its advanced tilt rotor technology has also proven to be a transformative factor in military operations, providing a level of flexibility, speed, and range that conventional helicopters simply cannot match. But let me know in the comments, do you think the unique design and characteristics of the V-22 were worth the cost?